A lot of us have probably resolved to eat better, be healthier this new year. Yes. And it all starts at the grocery store. Yes, it actually starts in your cart because Good what point. you put in your cart is what's gonna go on your table. Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure what you put in your cart is going to lead to a healthier, happier 2014. Makes sense. Yes, so we got five tips for a clean start to your grocery cart. And the first one is label language. So when you're going through and kind of looking over what's healthy, what's not healthy, there's some things to kind of pay attention to because there's been a lot of label lingo in the news lately. It gets confusing. Yes, it does. You know, gluten-free, we hear a lot about that from celebrities and things like that, but really there's only a couple medical reasons that you'd need to follow that if you have celiac disease or if you have a diagnosed gluten sensitivity. Otherwise, no real need for most people to do that. The other thing is if it says 100% natural or simple or something like that, that doesn't really mean anything. There's no defined definition for that. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthier. You know, it might mean that it's not a lot of ingredients, but so you have that. And the other one that's coming up more lately we've heard with Cheerios is the non-GMO. Yeah. But that definition of non-GMO does not mean that it's healthier and that there's no nutritional difference between the products. So it's more of a personal decision on whether you want to do that or not. Okay. So not necessarily needed. So you've got other things, you know, like sugar-free, whole grain, making sure you really look for 100% whole grain. And if it is sugar-free and you're diabetic, then that's something you also need to look at total carbohydrates because something can be sugar-free but still have carbohydrates and that still can affect your sure. blood sugar. So don't get lost in label lingo. That's right, okay. don't get lost there. The second thing, boost up that fiber. Mm -hmm. Focus on your fiber. So I've got some examples because only 3% of us get to the 25 to 35 gram goal a day. And that's what we're all supposed to have? All of us, wow. yes. And where you can find it primarily is in your whole grains. Okay. So that's why every meal, try and make sure you get some whole grains in there. So we've got whole grain pasta, whole grain bread, oatmeal, starting your day with oats is a great thing to do. Having barley, maybe instead of rice or something like that, black-eyed peas or beans or things like that can also add a lot of fiber to your day. So if you kind of shoot for a 10 gram per meal goal, mm -hmm. that'll get you to that 30 at least for the day. That'll add up. That will. Another good source of fiber is plant food. Okay. So plant power. And we've all seen the visual my plate tool. Yep. We've talked a lot about that, but really trying to emphasize making sure that half your plate is fruits and vegetables. So you can see I have lots of different colored vegetables, banana and apple. Adults need about four to five cups of fruits and vegetables a day. Kids need about two cups of fruits okay. and vegetables a day. So trying to get that as much as possible when you eat your meals. All right. Another one would be to boost your omega-3s. Sardines, um, salmon, those are great sources of the fish or animal sources of omega-3s, uh -huh. your body readily absorbs those. You can also find omega-3s in plants like walnuts and flaxseed and chia seed. Okay. However, at best, your body's only getting about 25% of those plant sources into the omega-3s absorbed in your body. Okay. So you want to make sure you get a variety. Different kinds. Yes. So okay. have the plant sources, but also the fish sources every week if you can. Okay. Last but not least, we're hearing a lot about protein, how important it is to yeah. include at meals. So making sure you get that protein, and there's lots of different sources. There's black beans, there's quinoa, almonds or other nuts, lentils, that's kind of like a flat pea almost, mm -hmm. milk, peanut butter, eggs, cheese. Um, you can also find the Slim 7 pork um, cuts on their website and also the Lean 29 beef cuts on their website. And of course you've got chicken, so protein really helps that staying power, helps keep us feel full, yeah. promotes tissue growth and also growth in children. So with following these five easy tips, you'll be sure to have a healthier 2014.